Alright then guys, so this isn't a video I was expecting to make, but Scream Fortress has apparently arrived, I really did not see this coming. But um, it's a very, very small Scream Fortress update, this is probably, um, in terms of actual content and new content and stuff, it's probably uh, the most underwhelming and a lot of people would say the worst, but I mean who can blame Valve, they've literally just finished quite possibly the biggest, most impactful update on the game, uh, being the Jungle Inferno update. So, I mean, you can't really blame them, but the Scream Fortress update has arrived. So, um, it's not on the official Team Fortress page, this is literally just a post on Reddit, but it says you can play your favourite classic Scream Fortress maps. So, uh, they're going to be back in the playlist again if you choose to play them. Um... You get free Halloween contracts and rewards added to the contractor. So there'll be more if you well yeah, with the contractor, there'll be more Halloween contracts, etc. to play through. It's gonna be interested to see how the rewards work. It's probably just gonna be free Halloween stuff again, like it was last time, but who knows? I guess if there's new rewards, maybe you buy the new Halloween rewards with blood money. I'm really not too sure, but there's no cosmetics. So, the, I mean, you're not going to get the con cosmetics as a reward. Uh, the event finishes on November the 8th, so that's really not too long, dude. I mean, right now it's the 27th, it's just gone past midnight, so, um, yeah, we've literally got, like, two, maybe three weeks at most, which really isn't a lot of time, I think it is closer to two. Um, they updated Brimstone, so players now crit boost, crit and health boosted when exiting the hell area instead of just uber charge. Okay, so that's pretty cool, that's going to be interesting to see. Um, increased slightly red team respawn time on the last area. Fixed the coffin music playing into the same next round from the previous one. Fixed monoculus sometimes getting stuck to certain locations. Fixed players sometimes getting stuck to other players in hell area. I mean, I never really encountered these. And, um... Adjusted preferred nav path for Marasmus to prevent him going into the red final base. So that's all the uh, brimstone fixes and stuff. They've, as part of the Scream Fortress update, they fixed the thermal thruster. So, um... <clears throat> when it was released, there was a bug. It didn't actually do the three times damage it's supposed to, but they fixed that now. Uh, the thermal thruster no longer fully stuns mini bosses in man vs machine mode. A lot of people were complaining and saying like the new weapons are so OP in MVM. So it's interesting to see Valve taking an approach to that. Fixed an LOD bug with the holiday punch and updated model materials for the War Eagle. It's going to be interesting to see how the War Eagle looks post update. Um, and the update size is just 50 megabytes. So, I mean, I can't blame Valve. They've just released the Jungle Inferno update. It's a huge update. It's just, it would have been nice to get maybe a new cosmetic crate, a new, because you can literally just take them from the workshop. Maybe a new unusual effect or two added in the mix. But either way, though, this is the Scream Fortress update for 2017. Uh, leave your opinions down below. I mean, scrolling through the Reddit, um, a lot of people, I mean, they're kind of neutral about it. I, like, I mean... There's just not a lot to get hyped about, you know, but I guess the Jungle Inferno update is still definitely ripe and in its prime, so we've got that to look forward to. But guys, that is just about it for this video. Thanks again so much for watching, and peace.